most prominent C3 plants are potatoes, wheat, rice, and cotton. C3 plants are also all trees. These plants are considered to be normal plants. In fact, 85% of Earth's plants are C3 plants. Photosynthesis in C3 occurs in the chlorophyll. Carbon dioxide is taken from the air and is fixated by the enzyme rubisco with a 5-carbon molecule called RUBP, ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate, to form two 3-carbon molecules. These 3-carbon molecules get 3-phosphoglyceric acid are produced after the carbon is fixed and is where C3 photosynthesis gets its name. As the intensity of light increases, the photosynthetic CO2 uptake rate also increases. However, the rate plateaus when at high light intensity. This point is called light saturation. However, there are limitations to C3 photosynthesis. Rubisco reacts with the carbon dioxide, water, and light energy at normal temperatures to produce energy. However, at high temperatures, it reacts with oxygen, as well as causing the organism to lose energy due to the production of non-usable products for the plant. Because of this reaction with oxygen, C3 has low efficiency at high temperatures and when carbon dioxide concentrations are low. C4 photosynthesis solves this by separating the fixation in space to eliminate this loss of energy. C4 plants are most commonly agricultural plants and grass species such as corn and sugarcane and are found in areas where light intensity is high. These plants undergo C4 photosynthesis because it reduces photorespiration and increases photosynthetic efficiency by separating the photosynthetic reaction from the stomates and cytoplasm. More specifically, the light independent reactions occur in the spongy tissue of the leaf called the mesophyll cells, and the Calvin cycle and the rest of photosynthesis occurs around the leaf veins called the bundle sheath cells. To get to this point, the CO2 enters through the stomate and is then converted into an intermediary 4-carbon organic acid called oxaloacetate. This conversion is done by the enzyme pepcase, also known as phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase in the mesophyll cells. Pepcase is how C4 photosynthesis reduces photorespiration because it is able to bind more readily with CO2 and not O2, like rubisco, ultimately increasing the photosynthesis efficiency. This 4-carbon molecule oxaloacetate produced in the mesophyll cells is where C4 photosynthesis gets its name. Once the oxaloacetate is produced, it is then converted to malate and moved into the bundle sheath cells to be broken down into CO2 to undergo the Calvin cycle and the rest of photosynthesis. CAM plants are plants that use the crassulation acid metabolism pathway or the CAM pathway. This pathway occurs in very hot, dry environments such as deserts because it minimizes photorespiration. Examples of plants that undergo the CAM pathway include cacti and pineapples. Because of these plants' adaptations to very hot environments, CAM plants are very water efficient and thrive at night when temperatures are cooler and humidity is higher. CAM plants separate photosynthesis and CO2 uptake in time rather than in space. During nighttime, CAM plants leave their stomata open. This process allows carbon dioxide through into the leaves. As CO2 enters, it is made into oxaloacetate by PEP carboxylase. After that, it is made into malate or another organic compound. This is then held inside of the vacuoles by the plant until daytime the next day. During the daytime, CAM plants leave their stomata closed. However, photosynthesis still occurs as the organic acids are broken down into CO2. This then enters the Calvin cycle where CO2 is able to have high concentration around rubisco. In conclusion, C3, C4, and CAM photosynthesis all use the Calvin cycle to make sugars from CO2. These pathways that occur for fixing CO2 have their own advantages and disadvantages that make plants able to thrive in different environments. C3 organisms such as wheat, rice, and as well as trees work well in cool, wet environments. C3 photosynthesis gets its name from the 3-carbon molecule 3-phosphoglyceric acid. C4 plants work efficiently in hot areas that have high light intensity and the CAM plants work ideally in very hot, dry areas. C4 photosynthesis gets its name from the 4-carbon molecule oxaloacetate produced in the mesophyll cells. C4 is different from C3 in space, while CAM is different from C3 in time. CAM gets its name from the pathway it undergoes, crassulation acid metabolism, that minimizes photorespiration.